reefing line, 400 feet. Good thing we have a discount at West Marine. Otherwise, this would be really expensive. But you have to reef. At least that's what they tell me. Sorry, now it's a write-off. <laughs> Tricky. Hi, buddy. And I'm trying to figure out the reefing system. I know this is a poor picture, but we're gonna be working on that with this line that you saw me get yesterday. 400 feet. Reefing is important. That was a huge expense for me this month that I wasn't expecting. Before, the idea was to just put the lines through and tie it around the bottom of the boom. Now I don't even have to leave the cockpit. This is gonna make it super safe, hopefully, for me to be soloing. I wanna try to stay off the deck as much as possible when there's not someone on besides Ricky to come get me. Ricky! Oh, there he is. Sailor of sailors. Finished with my run, put on my face, and now we're gonna install the winches. Today we're gonna install the winches. This is the new revised list of what we got to do. Ricky is waiting for Searle to arrive. Ricky! Yeah, he's a good boy. He on my backpack yesterday. Got some dishes done. I've got a made bed. Oh, in other news, the material for the floor is coming in today. I got it on Amazon for a hundred bucks. It's that foamy stuff. I don't know, it's tough when you buy stuff on Amazon, but it was $80 and it's 47 inches wide and the floor is 46 inches wide. So I'm hoping that it looks good. I'm hoping it's easy to clean. I think it's that foamy teak looking stuff that you put on the back of power boats, which I think is gonna be great in here so we don't slip. If you you wear socks in Little Miss, you will die because the floor is curved. So hopefully that will negate some of that. So the idea is to pin these two together and then tape them. Then they go through the block and the shift. Then we don't have to climb up the mast again. And worst case scenario, you have to climb up the mast again. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of comments as to why I'm doing this wrong, but this is how I've done it before. This is how I shall do it again. <laughs> sew it together, which is probably the proper way to do it, and then they tape it, but I'm not going to sew it today, so we'll see if this works. So why isn't your line pink? They didn't have pink, but I'm hoping that with time, this red will fade. Right. Are we ready? I hope they're going to notice naked Jim in the corner there. <laughs> Okay, we're getting to the moment of truth. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We've got a bird's nest. if you let go and it just suddenly got pulled the opposite way. Uh, that would not be cute. Do you want to use that other roller piece that was on the end? Are we going to need to disconnect it for any reason? But it's going to chafe on such a sharp edge. You're going to splice that end back into itself? Yeah. You're going to do a good job? Yeah. Now we're going to see it do a bow line. Oh yeah! There it is, all the rabbits and all the holes. Ta-da! <laughs> As I almost step on the safety pin I just said don't step on. <laughs> cool. Sound real good on the... No, I, I think let's uh, bring this in. There you are. It's not really the right to pull this over that. So now can I take my line back to Moonlight? Yes. There's a pin in it. Alright, that's good. Let's see your coiling skills. It's good for now. Alright, there it is. Good job. Okay, 
we're gonna mark out our holes. We put one of these, we left one of the holes from the previous winch so that we could have it in the same place. I've lined it up with the tan marks from the prior right winches and now we're just gonna mark this out. So we took the bolts and just compared it to the drill bit. It's quarter inch. Easy. Ugh. You know what I notice? Whenever you watch somebody else drill a hole, you realize how cockeyed you are, but when uh, you do it, you feel like you're dead on. <laughs> what do you think? Dusty. Top tip, leave the tape there, it takes most of the dust out. Just doing a little dry fitting now. Well, I've discovered beetle tape, which is just like that press stick that you used to put posters up with in your room. And kind of like Play-Doh. You know the Play-Doh that you used to get with like in the little egg that you can make like noises with? <laughs> That's what this stuff reminds me of. It works really well. Doing this underneath the winch and then around the base of the screws just so it doesn't leak on your head when you come visit me. Is it easier just to take the bolt out and do it? Maybe. Okay, go. Okay. Now we're just moving this extra butyl tape so it doesn't get caught in our winch parts. And then we're gonna add some grease and throw this guy together and it's gonna feel like a sailboat again. <laughs> and so cheering there. Yeah. Gonna put these guys on. All right, and I wish I was fancy enough to tell you guys what all the parts are called, but I don't. And I'm probably doing this wrong, but mo grease is mo better. Tell me all the ways that I did this wrong in the comments below, and I will read them, and I will do it better next time. But for now, this is what I got. I don't know why this is like a... This looks like hair conditioner. Looks like toothpaste. Outstanding anti-wear formula designed, designed to optimize winch performance. White grease. White lightning. There we go. Ooh. All right. Okay, if I've installed this backwards, I'm sure that one of you guys is definitely gonna let me know and I'm also gonna figure it out out there. Cause if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. <laughs> Feeling pretty good about this. Get in your home, buddy, get in your home. Do you want the Persuada? Let's not drop this overboard. I don't know, where to, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> get in your home, little guy. Oh, there it's ready. Woo! All right. I think Ricky thinks the rope is like a lead. <laughs> he thinks he's going somewhere. Oh, <laughs> see that okay. Let me see that end of that line. Okay, so I only need to worry about these ones, I think. 
Yeah, I think use all the Hawken ones at the bottom. Okay, all right. So then I'm just doing boots and these guys. I'm gonna put these ones at the top. Well, these ones look like you can tie the line through here, look better. And these ones do not. I'm gonna go up just the way I put Feel a lot. It's gonna be comfortable. You know this voice? But. Then rice and. 